Neil, three points this evening, you must be pleased. Yeah, um, it's been a tough few days. I know <clears throat> you know the fans were were disappointed, frustrated, angry on Saturday, but the last few days for me as a manager have really hurt it, you know, taking it personally what happened on Saturday and um, you have to sort of have a, as a leader, you have to have a clear head on how you're going to approach Monday. I got up early <clears throat> Sunday morning, started watching our game back, clipping bits of that and then watching Oxford and then you think, right, how, I, how am I going to get the lads back into the right place? How can I show them? How can we, we, we talk? How can we go and work on stuff and, and get them into a place to play with a bit more confidence and obviously a lot more passion and energy and heart? <clears throat> and um, you know, Matt, the chairman, came down to the training ground Monday with me and, and he spoke brilliantly. So we all both had a chat just about what we're trying to do at the club and the players today have, have responded really well, which, which isn't easy to do when your confidence is low. Reflecting on that game on Saturday, two goals down after 20 minutes. Today it's us who are two goals ahead <coughs> after 20 minutes. You must have been pleased with the start that we made. Tonight. Yeah, we had to start well and, and I said that to the lads, you know, you've You've got to get the fans off their seats today. You know, <clears throat> with Saturday in their memories, you need to give them something to, you know, just show that it hurt and we're, we're at it. And and I thought they did. And we also had to play as a team. Everyone had to fight and run for each other. And I thought they did. I thought the collective with and without the ball was excellent. Um, even in the second half, I know <clears throat> the game sort of changed, but they changed to a three-four-three. And if we'd have gone to press too high and we'd have got it wrong, they'd have picked us off. So we had to sit in as two banks. People had to do their jobs. And and, and catch them on the counter attack which we did and we had a few chances so the second half had to be a more disciplined performance but people put their bodies on the line they tracked runners they defended well and, and we got a well deserved clean sheet and Oxford came into this game on back to back wins to keep a clean sheet tonight and obviously keep them off the score sheet again must have pleased you yeah um, <clears throat> you know I just, just the response it's not easy when you when you when you've been battered which we have I, I said a few harsh words in the press the fans weren't happy on Saturday it's easy to sink, it's easy to, to, to come out and play with anxiety. Um, but to be fair, as a group, staff, everybody, we all came together and we all, I think we all put in a good performance today. And four changes made tonight. Some has returned for a first start in a while and Will Davies handed his first start as well. You must have been pleased to see them players back out there. Yeah, we, we needed, you know, obviously Will got <clears throat> injured um, and, uh, you know, I, I like playing a back four anyway, I prefer to. Um, but we've had issues. We didn't. There was a spell where we didn't have any left back, so it was hard to play one. So <clears throat> sometimes the shape dictated. But you know now, um, you know Thierry's got fit and played a couple of four games, and, and we, we are still looking to bring one in. Um, hopefully we can, um, you know, we can start sort of playing different shapes a little bit more and, and attacking games with with wingers, with people on the pitch. But you've got to do the stuff without the ball and the energy up top. Both Depot and Will played with a lot more energy, and uh, I think that sets the tone. And Dippo <coughs> came off after about an hour. How is he doing? Well, we don't know. It's too early. It's, he's felt a little tweak, so we'll, we'll analyse. You know, hopefully it's a bit of cramp. That's the best case scenario. But the worst case is he's got a well, not the worst case, but but uh, obviously having a, a slight tear would be the would be the not not so good option. Um, but we'll see. You know, we, we are looking at forwards as well because I like to have four forwards. We want to have options, so we'll have to carry on working on our recruitment as as we go along and heading into Saturday we're back on the road you must be feeling much better going into that one now knowing we've got three points tonight yeah three points helps it gives everyone a lift but but it's 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 a long season and and you know we want to get to the halfway mark and, and at least be <clears throat> in with a chance of keeping them points per game high um, that's what we've got to need we've got to get past 50 points um, you know that's the most important thing this season and then try and grow from there